An awful lot going on right now. We're near the corner of Burns and Harper on the city's east side. They have this whole area shut down. You can see officers right now are on the move here. They have a perimeter around here. If we go down here, too, you can see there are cops way down there, about a block down over there, blocking that area. You can see lots of action. Maybe something has broken here where maybe they have located this guy. They believe he lives on Burns in that area. You can see other officers over here at that corner, too. They are checking each and every car that comes out of here. Let me set the scene. Over near French and Shaner, earlier today, there was some sort of traffic stop with the school officer. He pulled over that suspect. That suspect stopped. He then went up to the car, and for some reason, that suspect then took off. He ran over the lower leg of that officer and now has been on the run ever since. Commander Arnold Williams is standing by with me right now. We just saw officers take off. Has there been um, a break in the case right now? Um, yes, uh, they believe that somebody matching that description is at um, Holcomb and Harper. So they're trying to see if um, anybody's in a vacant location at that address. I mean, how dangerous of a situation is this? You pull a guy over for a traffic stop. He runs over an officer and then takes off. Um, anytime that somebody shows a blatant disregard to actually harm an officer, it's an issue. Um, what we're looking at as far as the police side is we're just trying to make sure that we get the individual. We don't think that he's going to be a harm to the public, but you never know what circumstances it's like still that. a very fluid uh, situation here, right? Yep, we're still investigating. Um, the individual did leave a vehicle. The vehicle was registered to an address on Burns. Um, so we believe we have everything we need to get him in custody. Any new information on why they were pulling over the suspect? It was just a traffic stop. All right. Thank you, Commander, for your time. We appreciate that. They're looking for this gentleman, uh, this suspect, who happens to be around 29 or 30 years old. He's 6'2", 260 pounds, has a shaggy goatee. He's light-skinned with a receding hairline. But you just heard right there, they believe there could be some new developments in this case. And, of course, we'll bring those to you as soon as we find out. Let's bring it back to you guys in the studio.